And the Sultan of Sokoto, Mohammed Saad Abubakar, says ending the reign of smuggling ammunition into the country would end banditry. He also wants Nigerians to stop tagging a particular tribe as the masterminds of insecurity. TVC News correspondent Rafiu Hamid tells us more. It was a gathering of Islamic scholars, including traditional rulers and ambassadors from various Islamic countries. It also served as an opportunity for those in attendance to know more about the religion. Addressing the gathering, the Sultan of Sokoto, who was represented by the president, Muslim Umar of Southwest Nigeria, Professor Dahoud Naibi, wants chief imams to preach sermons that will foster unity. So they should be addressing, for example, the security challenges that we have in this country. But at the same time, they should take the opportunity to actually correct the wrong impressions that some people have who try to create enmity amongst ethnic groups, saying, for example, that a particular ethnic group are the ones that are bringing about problem in Yoruba land. A lecturer at the University of Ilori, Liat Tela, is of the view that social media has contributed in no small measure to the security challenges in Nigeria. Maybe it may not be as bad as uh, portrayed in the social media. The mainstream media are more restrained, they are more disciplined. But the online media, the social media, anything goes. So it is social media that is creating tension in the land. People who pray there, that's the first thing. And uh, scholars uh, will come there all over the world. Maybe to come and preach. Uh, for me, it's a big investment that will enhance uh, the social cultural improvements in their lives here within Iwo. Uh, Iwo has a historic uh, uh, commitment in terms of knowledge. The event was rounded up with Salatu Zur observed in the mosque by the dignitaries. Rafiul Hamid, TVC News, Iwo, Ocean State.